we journey to Easter's Fountain of Life, let us pray for the world, the church, and for all people according to their needs. For the church, that its life and mission may, may be renewed in the celebration of Jesus' death and resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For the leaders of nations, that they may strive to serve their people in humility and without self-interest, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord have mercy. For those who are sick or dying, especially those we now name, Ambrose, Hilda, Gloria, Carolyn, Olivia, Reagan, Joyce, Mickey, Jim, Barbara, Marilyn, Joanne, Mike, Joyce, Jean, Peg, Betty, Gary, Adeline, Virginia, Dave, and for the family of Audrey Madier Klinger, who died this past Friday unexpectedly. We also lift up to you, Lord, the members of our extended community. Especially we ask for prayers of healing for Pastor Janelle Bethke from Emmanuel Lutheran Church. And we pray for Catherine Ranieri and her daughter Debbie as Catherine faces death. We also lift up to you, Lois, who's in hospice, Ambrose, Daryl, Richard and Annette, Declan, Emily, Eugene, Ed, Susan, Dorothy, Lois, Gibson, Devona, Rosemary, and Roberta, and those we name before you now both silently and aloud. Lord, we pray that all these in their suffering may know that God is with them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our community of faith, that following the pattern of Jesus, we may empty ourselves for the sake of those who are poor, vulnerable, or in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. God, we ask your continued protection on our loved ones serving in the military, especially Stephen. Kevin, Molly, Caleb, Robert, Matthew, Nathan, and Chris. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. We give thanks for all the saints who have walked the way of the cross. Bring us with them to the endless joy and victory of Easter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Hear our prayers, O merciful God, as we eagerly await the day of resurrection. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Let's share a sign of God's peace.
our merciful guide, together with rivers and seas, wells and springs, we bless and magnify you. You led your people Israel through the desert and provided them water from the rock. We praise you for Christ, our rock and our water, who joined us in our desert, pouring out his life for the world. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body, given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Pour out your spirit on this holy food, Lord, and on all the baptized gathered for this feast. Wash away our sin, that we may be revived for our journey by the love of Christ. Amen. In confidence we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Come, for all is now ready. Thank you. Christ our Lord. Amen. May God bless you. 